Well, alrighty then. <clears throat> and in this corner, weighing in at about 18 pounds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Carolina Protoseco is going to be singing. Actually, I'm sorry. She's going to be dancing and fiddling to It Must Have Been Love by Roxette. Yes, that's what we're going to listen to. And, um, yeah, I guess uh, Carolina at this point doesn't need any introduction. You guys know I love watching this little pixie girl, little pixie dust, twinker bell kind of thing going on. It's fun. It's just fun watching her dance around and play the violin at the same time. It really is. I, I get a kick out of it. And uh, I think it's beautiful to watch. It's like listening to the orchestra and watching a ballerina at the same time. But in this case, it's all the one one person. So how cool is that? At least that's my, you know, my dumb opinion. What the hell do I know? Anyhow, here we go. Uh, let me shrink myself down. And here we go. got up uh, it, it's just aggravating once again here's a perfect example of a backing track overpowering the entire audio i understand we have the technology now um in fact uh, it was recently used by the beatles uh where they could go back and they could take one of their songs and they have the ability of even though it was all done together as one uh, I think one stereo track, they had the technology now to break it back down to all of its original tracks. And this is how the Beatles just came out with a new song uh, that uh, even John Lennon played on uh, because they had a track of John Lennon playing that song years ago before he died. And we're able to come back and take that and then add, add everybody else in individually and create a new song, a new Beatles song. Just came out. Check it out. Google it. Here in this case, I wish I had the ability of being able to do that. I would like to take all of her backing tracks out and back them the hell down. They do not need to be so loud that you can hardly hear her sometimes. It's just very frustrating. Unfortunately, this just came out eight days ago, which worries me. It tells me that whoever is handling her is thinking this is the new direction to go. If you can hear my voice, stop. Stop. If you want to have a backing track, fine, but turn it the hell down. Anyhow, here we go. <laughs>
that so well. She played that very, very well. That came out that came out beautiful. Again, I just wish those backing tracks were turned down so you could better hear her. Um, they they just weren't necessary to be that overpowering. And from I can see from the comments that I'm I'm reading, uh, you know, a lot of you guys agree with me. These backing tracks are just out of control sometimes. New technology, you know, takes time for people to get it figured out, I guess. But still, beautiful listening to Carolina, Carolina, I think I've been told I'm saying it wrong. Carolina is uh, did a beautiful job of playing it. She looked beautiful playing it. Her green dress, the white bow and ribbon in her hair, uh, just, you know, paints, paints a very lovely picture. And I, I appreciate that. So I, I, and I hope you guys do too. And I hope you let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, ring the bell. Thanks, friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some more stuff for us to listen to.